the digital revolution that began in the 50s, now globalized. It certainly cannot be stopped by the embargo still in place of Google's proprietary services on some Chinese Android devices and in the midst of the information age where access to all human knowledge. Practically at a cost of a few tens of euros with any computer device. Connected to the internet, finding a trick to get them is not mission impossible. Also given the open source nature of most of the components of Android systems, which essentially guarantees access to the source codes and any modifications. Obviously, finding the dish ready, perhaps with your favorite dish, pleases everyone. So the effect was simply to make Huawei lose large market share. Especially in Europe where its products with an excellent value for money were popular. On the other hand, another consequence was the drastic decrease in prices. Of Huawei products, practically halved, but always with high quality standards. Therefore be aware of what you can actually do with an Android device. Without the suite and pre-installed Google services can give us the opportunity to evaluate. If in the face of strong discounts, but even without it it is worth it. Certainly having Google practically chained to us, to its services for individuals, professionals and companies, it will be an essential condition. That of being able to access it in the simplest and most functional way possible. For many the game may not be worth the candle, but if is said Mama Uganda, Sold at age 13 in wife is a reproduction machine to a man much older than her. Who at the age of 41 has totaled 44 children to whom perhaps he wants to give access to distance learning services. To try to free the greatest number of them from their own miserable fate. Get 44 smartphones or tablets with good performance for 100 euros instead of 200 euros. For a total saving of 4,400 euros, it could make it achievable and increase the chances that some of her 44 children instead of selling themselves to an old stranger, thanks to OnlyFans, is sold virtually by subscription, even better if automatically renewable, to millions of equally old strangers, maybe even managing to make the money to give to some of his brothers eager to buy some beautiful little girl to whom the family failed to buy a tablet because it was still too expensive before the embargo. But these are things known about the nature of things that the mysterious character of the Roman Empire. Tito Lucretius Caro had already admonished us thousands of years ago stating that man has freed himself from the condition of need through the production of techniques, which are transpositions of nature, however, progress is not positive a priori, but only as long as he frees man from oppression and does not become a source of moral degradation. It is known that the ultimate goal of all media, especially social media, is to create new needs. To keep us dependent on them as much as possible, perhaps pleasing us if necessary. Indulging our lowest impulses, and then giving us the product or service that we did not know existed, but which soon we will no longer be able to do without, perhaps able to distract us. Always according to that joker of the good soul of Lucretius, from the intrinsic fragility of living beings, and their fate of pain and death, but calm when death comes. Man no longer exists, and for this reason it is a fact that does not concern him. Certainly in perfectly configuring the Huawei MatePad T10's 10.1-inch FHD tablet. 4GB of RAM, 64GB of ROM and 8-core CPU for €99.99 ,99 to my needs, including Google services, I had quite other thoughts and also a certain, albeit fleeting satisfaction, however within the reach of anyone who has. A minimal computer education, I essentially set up the tablet, to use Google services only if strictly necessary, but in any case by installing the Play Store anyway in order not to have any limitations and to standardize the user experience as much as possible. Compared to other devices with Google services already integrated, Huawei has diligently checked and made available on its official store Huawei App Gallery, therefore guaranteeing a certain level of safety and reliability. The G-Space application that allows both to clone and to install applications in a virtual space where Google services are available, including the fully functional Play Store. Unfortunately G-Space does not provide direct access to the Play Store which however appears when you use the update function or install an application. Of those already available on G-Space, so you have to use a trick to get the Google Play Store directly on the tablet without going through G-Space. The trick is to create a quick link. With the shortcut application, available for free from one of the third-party stores, such as Apicapier, FDroid, up to down which are downloadable and installable from their respective sites. In detail, to create the direct connection to the Play Store, integrated in G-Space, 
you have to start the shortcut application go to the app section, select GSpace. Rename the shortcut, select the Play Store icon, perhaps previously downloaded. To be associated, enter the various parameters as shown in this video. Perhaps by copying and pasting from those found in the description below. Save everything and click on Create Shortcut. Once this is done, the Play Store will be directly available on the tablet. As if it were pre-installed and usable normally, at the price of a few more advertisements at the opening, having to use applications downloaded from third-party stores as well. Before continuing to customize the tablet it is advisable to install. From the Huawei App Gallery and Configure, to increase security, AVG Antivirus. And for cleaning AVG Cleaner, in fact even in the free version AVG Antivirus checks. Automatically the reliability of the newly installed applications in the system periodically. By scheduling the system scan at intervals chosen by the user. Instead to have the system under control from the point of view of unwanted tracking. Especially from any dangerous servers contacted by the apps you decide to install. F-Droid a well-known and reliable store of free open-source applications, provides the full version of the tracker control app that you can easily discover. All tracers present in an application, cataloging them in essentials, advertising, fingerprinting, social networks and others, if you want to block all non-essential tracers. Although many applications are totally dependent on them and may not work properly. Taking a look at the tracers of the various applications installed and in particular those of GSpace. There seem to be no calls to dangerous servers, but essentially to the usual telemetry tracers. Social media and advertising. Tracker control can be left running in the background, and customized by blocking tracers you do not want, for web browser applications. This cannot be done as due to the nature of navigation. All the servers necessary for the functioning of the site to be accessed or contacted. Therefore any dangerous calls are probably made from the site itself. I try to install some of the main Google applications from the Play Store, leaving Tracker Control active, YouTube, Chrome, Google Home, Google Docs, Google Drive, etc. GSpace allows you to create direct links to installed applications, then I create them for all applications installed from the Play Store. I test the correct functioning of YouTube, Chrome, Google Photos, Google Home, Google Discover, Google Assistant, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Maps, Google Keep, Google Lens and Gmail.
the only Google application tested that didn't work properly is Google Assistant. Integro in the Gboard system, Google Translate and Google Speech Synthesis by installing them from APKGear. But the available version of Google Speech gives an error during installation, then I install the Aptoid Store. And I easily install another version of Google Speech from it. Gboard and Google Translate work fine. Even if it is not possible to access personalization through Google services, while Google Speech Synthesis despite being able to work correctly in English and other languages already pre-configured, cannot download the voice data package in other languages. In English. Then I resort to a trick to take advantage of Google's cloud voices. By installing the multilingual TTS app from the APKKR store which essentially manages to select the item from the synthesis engine automatically based on the language of the text to be read. But the voices are also based on those of Google Cloud so all languages work even without being downloaded locally. Just select Multilingual TTS as your default TTS engine. And configure the languages to be activated based on the language of the text. Specifically, I set Italian as the default language without configuring the secondary languages. And selecting the Italian voice cloud of the Google engine that I prefer. I install Chrome directly from one of the third-party stores and test its correct functioning. Apart from syncing via Google services, everything seems to be working fine.
A good alternative to use as a system browser is definitely Firefox Mobile, currently in a mature version for this purpose, which can be easily installed from one of the alternative stores to Google. In addition, if desired, by setting the desktop view you can use all Google services, such as YouTube, Gmail, Drive, etc., as if you were using a desktop PC or a notebook. Another interesting way to use the tablet, given its good FHD display, is to use it as a terminal for remote access in use of a PC, or a notebook or a virtual machine in either the home or business network, that thousands of miles away by simply installing and configuring, after installing, and configured on the remote machine the RDP server, one of the various RDP clients available, such as the one in the video the ARDP app, I try to access a PC running Ubuntu Studio on the home network and use some software such as Chrome, LibreOffice and GIMP. The Facebook app appears to work correctly even if it is installed from a third-party store and without accessible Google services. The TikTok app appears to work correctly even if it is installed from a third-party store and without the Google services accessible. I install WhatsApp from a third-party store and try to send messages and make a video call. Everything seems to work fine even though the automatic backups on Google Drive and other functions related to Google services are not available. Obviously installing it from the Play Store on GSpace these will work too. The Spotify audio streaming app appears to be working fine, even if it is installed from a third-party store and without accessible Google services. The Pluto video streaming app appears to be working fine, even if it is installed from a third-party store and without accessible Google services.
capitano. Capisco come si sente. The tablet having the audio jack socket and supporting USB OTG with inexpensive adapters. Also available from any warehouse of Chinese import products, it is possible to make it a real workstation equipped with keyboard, mouse, microphone, headphones and memory card reader. With such a configuration, for example, it is possible to comfortably edit even quite elaborate videos. For example this video has been edited and written, entirely on this tablet. Although exporting in 2K or 4K will require patience. I install and try, using a mini wireless keyboard as a gamepad. The Asphalt 8 car racing video game that seems to run smoothly. And in a fluid way, even if the tablet was not expressly conceived for video games. I customize the Huawei launcher theme and remove all shortcuts and pre-installed apps that I don't need. I install, configure and set the Alexa voice assistant as default. Which seems to work perfectly, allowing for example by listening. Of jokes to the voice management of any home automation devices. Alexa, conta fino a tre. Uno, due, tre. Alexa, racconta una barzelletta. Ho conosciuto un tarlo molto all'antica. Rispettava le vecchie credenze. Of course, if you can't find the application you need, you can easily develop it yourself. Perhaps using one of the many IDEs for Android such as the 8 app. Which allows you to easily program in various programming languages such as Java. C, C, HTML5, CSS and JavaScript, but also to take a peek at the source code. Given the open source nature of many Android applications, perhaps making some changes to customize or improve it. I install and try one of the many digital book readers for Android, specifically Prestigia e-reader which works perfectly. After selecting the previously configured speech synthesis engine, Gabriele D'Annunzio I romanzi della rosa Trionfo Della morte Chi è turchino? Chiese Giorgio, che pendeva dalle labbra della donna, attratto da quelle cose misteriose, l'uomo del... Trabocco? E si ricordò di quel viso terreo, quasi senza mento, poco più grosso di un pugno, da cui sporgeva un lungo naso, aguzzo come il muso di un luccio, tra due piccoli occhi scintillanti. Sì, signore. Guarda là. Se hai buona vista, lo puoi scorgere. Stanotte pesca con la luna. I install and run the test of the Antutu Benchmark application which is a very useful tool to verify device performance using a self-test sequence, which will determine a final score easily comparable with other devices. Therefore, those looking for a tablet to customize perfectly to their needs, currently at the lowest possible cost, but with quality hardware, can evaluate the purchase. While for the fundamentalists of Google services it is better to choose something else. With these services already pre-installed and certified, even if the cost will probably be much higher.
I decline any responsibility for any damage to persons, animals and things resulting from the imitation of this guide which is for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for watching the video so far, I hope I have been useful and pleasantly entertained you. If you haven't already, comment, share, like, give a super thank you and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support, bye bye.